But now to this story for you tonight, new at 530. You know your child is someone that would be easily scared or easily frightened. Honestly, this is not a good idea for them. We are a month away now from Halloween, so the candy, the costumes, and all that goes with the season has started to arrive. Hi, everybody. Thanks for joining us tonight at 530. I'm Mark Sidney. And I'm Denise DeCenzo. Tis the season for scary haunted houses and graveyard exhibits, but how young is too young for a child to be exposed to all of this? Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Courtney Zeller is joining us live right now. She's at Lake Compounds as they open up their big exhibit this week. Oh, Courtney, very scary around you. Watch <laughs> out. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I, I, I get really scared easily, so I don't know how this is going to go, <laughs> but gates opened about a half hour ago here at Lake Compounds, and I can tell you the Haunted Graveyard is a 45-minute walkthrough. It has different themed areas. You can walk around the park as well. And by the way, there are more than 200 people dressed up in... Ah! <laughs> see? <laughs> okay, see? <laughs> Tom Aikenhead and his four-year-old son, John, just got their Halloween fix at a Halloween costume store. Went to Spooky Town on the way home, and he had a lot of fun there. He was a little scared of the zombies, right? John tells us why. How come? <laughs> what was he doing? Because it had his hand ripped off. A costume store is much tamer than a haunted house, but if your child is looking to head to spooky, gory, haunted houses, what age is appropriate? Dr. Laura Saunders with Hartford Healthcare explains. Early elementary school age, you need to be very, very cautious. Upper elementary, six, five, six, seven, eighth grade, if, a kids, are, if kids are strongly interested in this, it might be okay. But she says these exhibits aren't for everyone. I really think it's based on temperament. You know your child. And if you know your child is someone that would be easily scared or easily frightened, honestly, this is not a good idea for them. This is the subject of nightmares. If your child is interested and they want to go, Dr. Saunders suggests having a conversation with them about what's real and what's not. That this is an exhibit, this is something that's meant to be scary but fun, right? The, the zombies that you see or the images that you see, the blood and the gore, they are not real. They are pretend. So to really emphasize that. And if you go in and they are scared, there is usually always an exit. She suggests taking them out. While John's dad says he's a little too young for these haunted houses, he seems interested in going back to that Halloween costume store. My sisters do want to go to Spooky Town. And you like Spooky Town? Yeah. How come? But I've never been there before. It was your first time? No. Yeah. It right. was. He was awfully cute, but Dr. Saunders also mentions if your child doesn't want to go into any of these houses, do not force them to go. They want they should go on their own. Now, this haunted graveyard runs until October 28th. I know they're coming. I told them to, <laughs> so I wouldn't get scared again. Uh, but so October 28th, it opens, gates open at 5 o'clock. Um, and you, again, you could join the rides and all of that. See, I'm losing my train of thought. They're making me nervous. <laughs> okay. <laughs> We're live with the Mobile Newsroom tonight from Bristol. Courtney Zeller, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.